everyone, this is Alicia Munson, Opportunity Partners Community Outreach and Advocacy Manager, and I'm happy to bring to you today the April 2016 edition of the Advocacy Podcast. They've been learning a lot this semester. They've been getting so involved with self-advocacy efforts as well as legislative advocacy. Um, and they're going to talk to us a little bit today about what they've been learning and what they've been working on. Um, first, we're going to talk about legislative advocacy with Dean, Chi, and Craig. So these members of the Aspen Self-Advocacy class joined us for the day at the Capitol on March 15th. What did you guys think? Get the five percent. Yes, so they were very, very focused on the Best Life Alliance and asking for a 5% rate increase. That's one of your personal priorities, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you saw a senator mm -hmm. speak that day, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Do you remember which senator? Senator Hoffman. That's right. And Senator Hoffman is a big champion, as we all know, for the disability community. Mm -hmm. um, Craig, Chi, and Dean also had an opportunity earlier this session to meet with Senators Hoffman and Abler to talk about these issues as well. So that was pretty cool to see somebody that you've developed a personal relationship mm -hmm. with speaking at the rally, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So after the rally, you guys had a chance to meet with a legislator. Tell me about your conversation with Representative Uglum. I told him about the best knife in onions. And told them about people, all everybody's advocating for the five percent. Yeah. To keep jobs and staff at group homes and all that stuff. Right. And what's another really important issue that you guys discussed? Talk about MA reform and talked about like group homes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Right. And she, what do you like about your group home? Um. Be able to go on to activities, to be able to go do Special Olympics practices and tournaments, to be able to be independent, to be able to go grocery shopping, stuff like that, mm -hmm. right. to help me live on my own. Right. And uh, if the five percent wasn't here, there'd be no group home. Without and our staff. Group homes are, without staff at group homes, there'll be no group homes. Right. And group homes are very important. And if there were no group homes, then where would you live? Right. Big, big questions, big concerns. So, what do you guys like about Asplin? Uh, Craig, what do you like about Asplin? I like the services I get with Asplin and the classes I'm in. Good. So you guys are wrapping up your semester pretty soon here, mm -hmm. but I heard there's going to be another self-advocacy class next semester. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> are you excited about that? Yeah. Yep. I signed up for that. All Me right. too. Good. Yeah. Me too. So what are you guys going to do over the summer in your class? Um, let's see. The summer, they're not going to be in session. So probably can be easier for Mark or somebody to come out. Good then. point. So that yeah. way they're, they're not busy. Yeah. So I know you're going to invite Representative mm -hmm. Uglum to come out and visit. Mm -hmm. Sarah um, Anderson. Representative Sarah Anderson. Because we already had Terry Bond up out here. Yes, they had Senator Bond come out which, a couple months ago, which was great. Maybe you should see if we uh, have Senator Abler or Hoffman come out too. I think that's a great idea. Senators Abler and Hoffman, if you're watching, the folks here at Aspen would love to have you come up for a visit. And why is it so important to have legislators come and visit you here at Aspen? So they can support us and help us with the, the issues yeah. about the best knife alliance and all that. 
Craig, why do you think it's important for legislators to come out to Asplen? So we can answer, we can ask them questions and, and it's a good learning opportunity. Yeah, and get them to do what we want them to do. Exactly. <laughs> so would you guys encourage advocates at other Opportunity Partner sites to have legislators visit them? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good advice. So I'm joined now by some of the other members of the self-advocacy class, um, Jenny, Matthew, and Nathan. So Jenny, tell me what's one thing that you really like about your self-advocacy class? Because so she helped me um, learn more, uh, learn more, the class. The class helps you learn more? Yeah. Great. And I know you're really passionate about helping other people, aren't you? Yes, I do. Yeah. And Matthew, what have you learned about self-advocacy? Uh, what's that mean? Self-advocacy means um, building your skills and feeling more empowered, empowered in your life um, and at work. And that's cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. So I know that sometimes the term self-advocacy can be confusing, mm -hmm. but really, you guys live advocacy every day. So Matthew, tell us a little bit about your job. And I go in at productivity. You work at productivity, right? And what do you do at productivity? I'm doing I do the recycling papers mm -hmm. and, and the two microwaves and, and dust. Nice. And do you like your job? Yeah. What would your life be like if you didn't have your job? Uh, 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 I have my tears coming down my face. You'd be sad if you didn't have your job. So advocacy is talking about the importance of work, talking about the different things that have value in your life, right? So just by talking about your job and how proud you are to work at productivity, that's advocacy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Nathan, tell me something uh -huh. about um, advocacy that's important to you. To you. Um, what's important to me is Having a job. Having a job. And where do you work right now? Walmart. Do you like working at Walmart? I do. I know there's one issue that's been impacting your ability to work though. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, the transportation issue is that they can't pick me up after 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when Nathan works the evening shift, he works from maybe 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock. And his transportation isn't available to pick him up from the Walmart where he works to take him home, right? Right, and I'm hoping that they can fix that. Right. And so in taking this self-advocacy class, have you learned a little bit more about how to communicate about that issue? Um, I'm getting there. I mean, I don't know how I can come about this issue. Maybe I need to talk to Metro. Yeah. So it's important to keep in mind that we don't just advocate with legislators. We advocate for other people, like Jenny does. We advocate at work. And we advocate with other governmental bodies, like Metro Mobility. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So what's one thing that you, got, you guys want other people to keep in mind when they're getting more involved in self-advocacy? Just learn. Just learn how to stand up for yourself. Because if you don't, how is someone going to know what the issue is if you don't stand up for yourself? Exactly. <laughs> that wraps up this month's edition of the Advocates Broadcast. I want to thank the Aspen Self Advocacy members for joining me today and for all of their hard work. Thanks everybody. We'll Bye. see you soon. Bye. Bye.